um, that were that were contending for his services. And so um, all that is to say, as now we talk about, you know, what's next for for this position group and this position coach. Um, it's big shoes to fill. Talking about some of the names, these are at least some that we've heard some buzz about um, recently. The number one name that I think Auburn fans will, will want to talk about and want to address is a guy like Rodney Garner. Now, Rodney Garner has been at Tennessee um, since, obviously, Gus Malzahn left and they went into the Brian Harson era. Um, you know, he obviously hasn't been a part of Auburn staff since then, but this is a guy that there's really no denying the production that his defensive lines had, um, an absolute dynamite recruiter. And I think anytime you have a position like this open, you always have to consider a Rodney Garner because he's somebody who loves Auburn, um, loved to live here when he was here, loved to coach here. Obviously, he was a standout player um, at Auburn as well. Um, a couple other interesting names, too, um, maybe to keep an eye on. One that you've been talking about this week um, is a guy named Kyle Pope. Um, he was linebackers coach at one point when uh, when Freeze was at Liberty. You had Josh Aldridge, who is Auburn's linebackers coach now. When Aldridge was on the D line, uh, Kyle Pope was uh, was there coaching linebackers. He's also a former grad assistant at Alabama, um, and he went on to be a really good defensive line coach at Memphis over the past few seasons. Really, really highly regarded there. Um, and then he has lined up the Georgia Tech a linebackers job at the moment. But Christian, as we saw with Wesley McGriff, and nowadays in college football, like that is assuming he didn't sign a contract yet, which most of the time you don't until like February or March, um, that doesn't really matter. So Auburn, you know, those are a couple guys at least uh, at least to keep an eye on um, as we as we begin this. Who else are you sort of uh, keeping your eye open for? There's somebody on staff too that I uh, that I neglected to mention that might be uh, might be worth keeping an eye on. Yeah, I mean, those are two of the main ones. Obviously, everyone knows about Rodney Gardner. I don't have to go in depth on him. Kyle Pope. Um, the second most famous Silicaga native behind Jason Caldwell. Um, but no, that's that's one that maybe people might not know quite as much about, but he's kind of, he's a younger guy, almost kind of fits a, a Jeremy Garrett style in a sense where he's a younger guy trying to, um, I don't know what I'm looking to say here. This is, this is bad podcasting right here, but he's looking to make a name for himself a little bit. Um, and so he's an Alabama native that would potentially have an opportunity to do that. And with the connection to Hugh Freeze, Trey Scott is another name to keep an eye on a little bit. The Georgia defensive line coach. Um, he was a graduate assistant at Ole Miss. I believe he overlapped with Hugh Freeze there. Yep. So they have a little bit of a connection there. Um, look, pulling him from Georgia to fill the same position seems unlikely, but you at least have a connection there. And that's one that we had, I'd even heard just a little bit about him being in the defensive coordinator as a guy that they were keeping an eye on. So his name um, had been in the mix even for jobs before Freeze got here. So Auburn has always kind of, yeah, so I that's feelers out. Look, that's one to at least keep an eye on. And then the last one you mentioned it, Vontrell King Williams, um, the assistant defensive line coach who has been here the past year working under Jeremy Garrett. Um, look, he has connections to Hugh Freeze. That's the reason he came over here. He was the Eastern Michigan defensive line coach, and he came to be the assistant defensive line coach at Auburn. Um, and so he worked here the past year. Um, him and Jeremy Garrett were a really good dynamic duo. Um, so the the potential to just elevate him is is definitely out there. Uh, he's he's hit the road recruiting. He's done that before. Um, he's a younger guy. So those are four names that we're keeping an eye on as of right now um, within the past hour of the news happening. Obviously, I'm sure more names will be vetted, but it feels like those four are the main ones that you really need to keep an eye on. Yeah, in terms of 